here at beautiful Lake Wilson. I've never been here before. Got off work, I already had the truck packed up, kayak on, and headed north. So I'm gonna be camping out for a couple days, try to get on some blue cats, some stripers. I really wanna get on some uh, smallmouth bass too. So I think it's gonna be a good trip. There is storms in the forecast for the next 10 days, so I'm risking it. So it could be pretty wet, but we're gonna try it. So stick with me and it should be a good trip. Well, I got priority number one taken care of. Got camp set up for the most part. Priority number two, try to catch some shad, catch some bait. So, the bait now, I'm just trying to get the call I can here at my campsite. Without having to go to the boat ramp. I might go to the boat ramp dock and see if I can't catch them off the ramp and off the docks. Get some blue cats tomorrow. Or tonight, I'm probably casting lines in the night. First cast. in the world but if it ain't got no bait no bait nothing so far pretty clear water looks nice Get on the kayak. Go find some bait. I told myself not to touch a pole till we found some bait, but I can't help it. <laughs> it looks too pretty. I got a fish. It's deep, clear water, lots of rocks. going up this little creek see what I can't find hopefully to find some bait but maybe some small mouth on the old buzz bait it's so calm calm before the storm probably so I'm seeing like this oil coming up to the top I think it could be shed and there's quite a bit of stuff on the graph I don't know where I'm going to get my net hung up. Oh, there's one. Actually, no, oh, that's a bluegill. Can't keep him. Let's just get one big old net full and I can go fishing. This might be white perch. Yep, white perch. They'll work. Just two of them though. There was something I went over the top of. And there was a bunch of something. So I kind of want to show you what I'm looking at here. So here's just a normal sonar. Then here's my clear view. And it really shows the difference between fish and brush. See like right there, that would be a brush pile, like a tree. And then up here is fish, little dots, crappie, I bet them are crappie or white perch. 
so that's the clear view definitely saved you a bunch because you look over here and you don't see that you know detail so I'm looking for them dots and big bunches of them so that's what I'm looking at so here's like a perfect example of white perch to me anyway a bunch of these marks all over and they'll be all over and then over here I don't know if you can really see them but then little dots all over the place Cheney is like this too that's kind of how I figured that out just like, oh man there's a ton of fish down there throw the net and a bunch of white perch which hopefully the blue cats like it I mean it's good bait it's better than no bait I'd really like to get some big gizzard shed but that might be pretty tough so we'll give her a try I'm gonna see if I can't get some more of these I got probably got 10 of them so far at least get me through the night It's like the first round of storms this thing about coming in. Yeah, so I got out there, got some bait, and the guy that left before me dumped his bait in the parking lot. And I picked it up. I'm not above that at all. So I'll show you what a white perch is. If you can see that right there. Just kind of looks like a white bass, but it's not. If you had a white bass next to him, you would definitely know that. The difference and that was probably maybe one bigger than that the other guy left some like looks like suckers I believe some shiners a couple bluegill so I mean that's the bait I got I'm gonna put on some ice hopefully it's not lightning and raining all night that I can't fish but I have some bait for tomorrow if I if not so should think about getting some supper around We had 60 mile an hour winds last night. Plus tent equals I'm sleeping in the truck. <laughs> so I'm a little slow this morning. Try to warm up a little bit. And then we're gonna get after it. Get some coffee. Try to get on some fish. I'll show you the tent here in a minute. <laughs> I was sleeping over here though. <laughs> God, it was, it was bad. Bad enough to put me in the truck. Something really don't want me to go fishing today. Put the boat in, came to pull out. Wheel fell right off. I was floating in the water. Nice gentleman at the ramp helped me get, get it over to here. But now, what do I do? Well, that'll do for now. Until tomorrow when we get a trailer and flatbed to come get me. It's only up from here, right? Ooh. Knock on wood. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Fishing hard, not a whole lot of luck. There we go. Skipped a ride underneath there. Now we need a three pound small eating. Just whoop.
one of the prettiest places I've ever fished. Never would have thought. There we go, baby. That's a good fighter. That's what I love about smallmouth. Man, they fight hard. Another good one. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Come on, baby. Come here. Ooh. <laughs> Got him. Man, that's a good fish. Oh, man. Beauty. There we go. Smally number two. This one's a lot more colored up than the other one I caught. Really pretty fish. Just using the old Ned rig, coming around these cliffs, just bouncing it off, working real slow. Heck yeah. What do we got? Oh, drum. That's the thing with the Ned rig, man. Just about everything likes it. See ya. Man, that was a perfect hit too. He's like, ta-da, shoot. He's rolling. He's very big. Channel cat. Barely hooked right there. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he, he wasn't hooked very well. Right the corner mouth. Got a little big of hook for him. But hey. Well, it was another night in the truck for me. Rained all night, windy. Didn't do it for this trip. Thank you for watching, I know. I didn't catch as many fish as I wanted to, but still got out on the water and had some fun. Full of ups and downs, but that's fishing, I guess. So, thank you for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks, see ya.